since we we're able to understand um, our previous topic which is the numeric type of an array this time we will proceed to the second type which which is the associative type of an array so if we will talk about this type of an array the associative type of arrays are very similar to numeric arrays in term uh, in terms of functionality but they are different in terms of their index why because their index is actually considered as a string for associative array so that you can establish a strong association between keys and also the values so please take note that in the associative type of array we have what we call key and the values so if you can see this illustration on the rightmost of the presentation this is the key and this is uh, the value so for example Chandler um, Chandler has a money um, he actually has 50 pesos Monica has 75 pesos and Rose has um, 85 pesos so Monica Chandler and Ross uh, they are actually called a key okay so if we will call Monica basically it will um, um, it will display as well the value which is 75 okay so how can we do that there are two ways by the way in creating an index I'm um, sorry there are two ways in creating sorry an associative type of an array this is wrong um, an, an associative type of array first of course uh, we'll be using an array function we'll be creating a variable then of course we need to start with the key and don't forget to use this one by the way we need to um, don't forget to use this one because basically um, this is a symbol in associative okay so we are um, assigning a value to the value from the key so this is key uh, with this symbol then the value okay okay so for example like this we have John we assign the value 31 don't forget the comma Maria with the with the symbol then 29 a comma again James as the key then with the symbol 27 as the value and don't forget to put the semicolon if that's actually the end of your element okay or we can actually use like this just like what we did in the numeric type of array uh, we actually use the age John uh, we assign John then um, John is the element uh, sorry John is the index again the index is a string don't forget that one index is the string then 31 is the value okay John is the key it's a string then 31 is the value don't forget that one okay so let's go directly to our first example so basically this is the third example from this presentation let's see uh -huh. uh this is displaying the age of john the uh, the age of maria and the age of james so how can we do it so let me open my visual studio code i'll just copy this and save it first this is array x3.php mm -hmm. this is associative array 1 and I'll be removing this first things first uh, I will be using age as my variable for the array function then inside the array function I will start with John of course then with the symbol 
after the symbol, I'll go and put the age of John, which is 31, comma. Um, next, uh, we have a Maria uh, with a symbol. Then, put the age of Maria, which is 29, comma again. We have James. Then, don't forget the symbol. Then, put the age of James, uh, James, sorry, which is 27. And since that's the last one, don't forget to put the semicolon. Next, uh, we can actually, mm -hmm. for this one, we can use Echo and John's age is, then we will call the value, uh, we will call the age array with John as the index. Am I right? Then, because again, in associative, um, the index, it's not zero. It, it, it doesn't start with, it doesn't start with zero. Um, it's actually, um, it, kung unsay na sa inyong, um, kung unsay na sa inyong array or the string in the array, that's actually the index in the associative. Okay, next. But here's, sorry. Years old, then put the dr. Semicolon. Then I will just copy and paste this one. I will be changing John to Maria. And lastly, this is James. Save it. So let me try showing it to you guys. Okay. There. It's working. But this is Maria. This is James. James. There you go. And refresh it. There. It's working fine. <laughs> Let's proceed. So, yeah, actually, that's the same. Let's proceed to our example number four. For our example number four, um, it's still the same, just like what we did um, in the example number three, but we will be, uh, we will be using looping, or we will be using for each, okay? So, for this one, uh, let me copy this one, create a new file, and save it. This is array example number four dot php. This is associative array two. I will remove that. Oh, by the way, for the array three, ba, um, you've noticed that I only use this one. You can actually remove that and use the other way, just like what I did earlier. You can put here John, then equals. Um, 31 like that one copy what's the age again of Maria it's 29 then Maria this one is James it's 27 run it let me try to, there it's still working okay so let's proceed to example number four so again if we will go back to the presentation um, it's still the same, showing the key, the value. Um, however, we'll be using for each, or we'll be using loop for this one. Okay, one moment. Where's my visual studio code? Here. So let's start. So for this one, uh, of course, I need to use age still. Then the array function. I will just copy this one. I'll copy this one from the example number three. Then after that one, I'll start with my looping. So for each, um, which is age, which is the, um, the variable of the array as um, x is equivalent to 
uh, no, sorry, uh, we are assigning x to um, x square value. So I created another two values, which is x. Um, this is intended for the key, and the x underscore value is intended for the value. So for this one, I'll do echo, um, put here key equals, I'll be calling the, of course, the variable x dot, I'll put here the value, alright, value equals, then I'll be calling the x value in semicolon and wait and I'll be adding br semicolon let's see let's see let's see let me run this one hopefully I will not get any error for this uh, let me there so that you can see it here four okay there it's working it's actually the same like this right yeah it's working or you can change this one for example um, name is of course it will show John here then we can just copy uh, one moment John's age is or we can just do like that uh, call the John this is basically X age is I'll be calling the mm -hmm. I'll be calling the x value John's John's age is years old there. years old there Let's try running it. I forgot to put the BR again. Okay. There. It's working. <laughs> so that's actually the associative type of an array.